Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmaidenVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Simple Lines Large Scale Chandelier. This is going to be the one with 18 U shaped arms, 1971 44. A lot of details, let's jump in. So, 35.1 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the top, and that's where the chain is going to start. That's that loop, 48.4 inches in diameter. This is coming in at only 16 pounds hanging weight. It, you'll see a higher weight for dimensional weight, and that's the what uh, FedEx and UPS say is going to be the weight or really the crate on this. And getting into that, this is going to be shipping by common carrier in a big crate, which means that it's going to go on an 18 wheel and, and on a pallet. We have to know where this is going to be going. If you're at the top of a mountain that's hard to get to or something like that, these are little details that we need to talk about. So let's get more into it. It's going to ship with 15 feet of wire, 6 feet of chain. If you need more chain, we do sell more chain. And same deal for wire. You can always do this custom with more wire if you need to. Chain has a seam on the long side that opens and closes, and your installer is going to have a tool that can open and close chain. You could use as little as one piece if you really had to, or you can use as much as you want, getting up to that 15 feet. Uh, we do sell additional chain. Just contact me about that for more information. Okay. You'll also notice that it's going to be hanging from a five and a quarter inch round canopy that's going to go over your standard for an instruction box. And since it's only 16 pounds, you're not going to need any reinforcement on it, which is going to be awesome. Um, a lot of people think this is heavier than it is just because it's so big, but you have to remember that each of these arms is holding a wire to get to the socket, so they need to be hollow. It's just one of those things. Okay. It's going to be using 18 of these. And these are going to be your type B sockets. And it's actually the socket on this fixture is a little longer than this one. And it's going to be able to accept up to 18 60 watt incandescent bulbs. A lot of you guys are not using incandescent bulbs anymore, which I totally agree with. And you'll notice that the design preference on Hubbardton's site is 25 watts because there's 18 of these. That's still incandescent. I think you should definitely just jump into probably 40 watt equivalent LEDs. And you can get them clear or frosted. They do make dimmable versions of these, so make sure that when you guys are looking at LEDs for this fixture that you're going to be buying a dimmable version and put it on a good dimmer setup for LEDs. You can also choose the color temperature of the light coming out of it. The light coming down on me right now is warm white 3000 Kelvin coming out of LEDs. And that's going to be kind of like the incandescent glow that we all liked when we were younger, or still do actually. Uh, I do anyway. Um, anyway, so it's going to be 3000 Kelvin for me. Some people like that whiter light. That's called daylight. That's 4000, 5000 Kelvin. That's kind of like a hospital or doctor's office light. It's also called daylight from outside. So again, that's, that's 4000, 5000 Kelvin. This is 3000 Kelvin. That is the warm light. Very, very important. If you're going to be dimming these down to make them look like little candles, you'll want to go for the warmer light. That's going to be pretty important. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmaidenvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the finishes help guide. When you're done with this video, Go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video, so it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same, and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardson Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, 
do me a favor, measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what you're, the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.